Hey, good morning, YouTube. We are on our way uh, to Bakersfield to pick up another wheel loader, bringing it to South Dakota. Um, right now, I'm in uh, Mandera, Mandera, yeah, Madera, California, at the pilot here. Um, I wanted to get as close to uh, Bakersfield as possible, but by the time I got around here, uh, a lot of the it seemed like a lot of the truck stops were filling up, and I know how California is. Um, it's kind of hit and miss and what fills up and what doesn't at what times um, I'm only about two hours away from Bakersfield so I wanted to stop and then uh, get a shower um, but yeah that the drop-off went easy um, I didn't film um, it was not a not that it was extremely difficult, but it was a, uh, I'll throw some pictures in. Uh, I pulled into the, the receiver and then they told me I had to back out. Mind you, the road that they're on and where they're at is right to the entrance of the, the 99. So I had to back up into the street and um, I did an idiot move and I pulled out the wrong way. So then I had to back into it again and pull out and go pretty much halfway up the entrance and then back down the road to get in because where you where the ramp was you can't turn around the truck so i had to uh pull up in there and it was tight um they had a lot of machines and buckets in the way um i wouldn't say necessarily in the way it just made it more difficult than it needed to be um but in order to get out you had to back out the same way so it wasn't as hard as it seemed but it definitely was tight and you had to be on uh, your A game. So we're going to get rolling here and I'll catch you guys later. All right, good morning, y'all. We are now, well, technically we're past Bakerfield. Um, we're about one and a half miles away from my pickup. Um, it is a used tractor, so apparently... I'm taking it from their place here and bring it to their place in South Dakota because they can't run it here um, because of the emissions or something, the way California does the tractors and blah, blah, blah. Um, so, I'm on truck. Thank you. 
thought I saw that sign. I did not see it. It's supposed to be a smaller wheel loader, so... I know it's an older one. But all right, y'all, I'm gonna go, ah, there it is. It's a small little guy. That's a newer one too, that's crazy. Uh, the guy said he has to bring this to his other place because he, he just had to spend 300,000 on a new one. Um, but let me check in here and uh, we'll get this all uh, situated. Alright y'all, we're loaded. Um, they didn't have a ramp wide enough. So, uh, we used it to uh, build one. Kind of some of the things you get into when you do this and you take used equipment from places. But, let me chain this down and uh, we'll get rocking. Alright y'all, I secured it. I got a chain hooking. I went across since it's a used one. And I just have a bungee pulling that uh, extra tight. I got the two anchor points here. Um, I got bungee securing the doors because I go backwards. I don't want them to fly. Um, we had an issue here where this uh, pin doesn't have a pin. I don't have one. Um, so I ended up going around the axles here just to uh, make sure or make shift ramp again. Um, exhaust is covered, but. We're good to go, and uh, we're gonna try to get out of here. All right, y'all, we're finally out of California. Um, we're about to hit uh, Vegas. Um, of course, it's uh, rush hour, so this could screw up where we end up parking tonight, which I was trying to get to a bee's beaver. That way I can get all the way through uh, Wyoming tomorrow before I do a 34. Um, yeah, it was a, this is an easy load so far. Um, I had to tighten one chain I, during my first uh, inspection and then uh, everything else has been kosher so uh, we're gonna keep on rolling through here and uh, hopefully we can get through Vegas with some uh, some decent time so we can get a ways um, it's hot it's 90 yeah it's 91 degrees so um, I basically convoyed with the bull haulers all the way out of California. Um, tactfully acquired time. We'll use that. Hey, for those that are interested, just over this horse trailer you can see uh, the Allegiant Stadium. Um, I remember driving by it when they were building it. If you look down here, there's a brand new Ferrari. Oh, to have money. You can't even hear it. You gave it a little slight rev and you still can't hear it. Damn EPA is ruining everything nice. They're super nice. It's a younger guy. Anyways, um, 
Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys Allegiant Stadium real quick. Um, that's probably the only thing that's kind of cool in Vegas in my eyes. Everything else is just glass and tan concrete stucco. So I'll catch you guys later. All right, good morning, YouTube. So we left, uh, well, we stayed at Mesquite, Nevada, and uh, I didn't think I could get to where I wanted to be, so uh, we're at our same spot here in the Virgin River Gorge. Um, the wind's bad today. Uh, this is like my favorite spot, it really is. some tight curves but it's not too bad um, it's probably the one place in Arizona you'll actually find uh, water in the river that's one thing you'll find out west if you haven't been out here is uh, you'll have bridges over air quote rivers and washes that are literally just sand um, but this one actually has water in it uh, that sun is brutal that is one thing
down below what else you guys want to see. Um, it's hard to show you my, uh, show me securing right now just because I don't have that tripod. Um, and I don't really have places to set my phone where you can actually see it. So. But I'm going to get going here and I'll catch you guys in a few. I'm confused. I don't know when night transportation started pulling tar trailers or oil or whatever this is. He's the guy on the left. Um, I thought it was a different company until I passed it and it's a legit night transportation truck. I don't wonder if it's just one of those Utah things. Still on. I don't know what it is. 
tabs. Um, I have, you know, normal tabs, normal oil. Cooling's fine. Um, I don't know. Battery's fine. So it must be just one of those Packard sensor things. Um, but yeah, I'm just kind of, it's just been an easy day, but a long day. Um, I know as soon as I park, I'm going to be tired. Uh, right now I'm okay. Um, I should have grabbed a couple water bottles from my uh, closet here, but I'm not stopping until I park, so I'm good on inspections for now. So, um, but that's pretty much it. A little, a little only weighs about like 20,000 pounds, I think. Um, I didn't weigh it because uh, I know I'm good on my drives and uh, it's smaller than the normal wheel loaders I carry so I wasn't worried about weight um, but according to uh, all my paperwork it says about 20,000 pounds so it is what it is um, far 
I've done 100 or 750 miles. So I'll take it. Now let there be a spot here. There should be. It's big. I've never stopped for a weekend though. It was mainly at uh, just overnight going to Montana.
alarm is uh, because I got like eight minutes left on my clock. That's what I ended this week with.